I'm Geoprobe Service Technician Roman Burrows, and today I'm going to show you how to charge your G8 60, 70, and 80 series hammers with nitrogen. A Geoprobe percussion hammer requires nitrogen to fire properly. An improperly charged hammer will fire inconsistently or sometimes not fire at all. We recommend charging your G8 60 and larger hammers at least once a month or as conditions require. Before you begin, you'll need to gather your nitrogen charge kit, your adapter, your two hex keys, a 3 16 and a 7 seconds, and two wrenches, a 9 16 wrench and a 5 8 Position the hammer so you have the best access to the charge ports. On this 7822DT, I move the drop hammer and the auger out of the way, and I position the hammer about a foot off the ground. This is the GH64 hammer, this is the charge valve, and this is the cap. Using your hex key, remove the cap from the valve. You must always discharge the nitrogen from the hammer before you recharge it. You do this by using the same hex key you just used and pressing down on the charge valve. Using your 5 8 wrench, install the charge adapter onto the valve. Do not over tighten. You need to let the O-ring do the work. Just turn it until it stops. Take the quick connect from the charge kit and put it on the charge adapter. First check to make sure there's no line pressure by making sure the T-handle is loose. Then open your nitrogen tank all the way. We use industrial grade compressed nitrogen found in most welding supply stores. This is my line pressure gauge. To charge the hammer, I'm going to slowly turn the T-handle clockwise until my gauge reaches the desired pressure. On this hammer, the desired pressure is 350 PSI. Look to the decal on your hammer to find the correct pressure. Wait about a minute for everything to stabilize. Once everything's stabilized, slowly back the T-handle off counterclockwise until you no longer feel pressure on the handle. Once you've backed the T-handle off, stop and look at the gauge and make sure the pressure is holding steady. If the pressure holds steady, you have a good charge. If the pressure drops, you have a nitrogen leak. And I'll explain what to do in a moment if this happens. This hammer charged correctly, so I need to bleed the nitrogen out of the fill hose in order to disconnect the quick connect from the adapter. There are two good places to do that. You can loosen the bleeder built into the regulator, or you can simply unscrew the charge adapter. Because not all regulators are the same, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'll loosen the charge adapter. Simply take my 5 8 wrench and unscrew the adapter while the quick connect is still attached. Make sure not to turn the charge valve on the hammer. Once the nitrogen is released, I can release the quick connect and finish unscrewing the adapter. Once the adapter is removed, I'm going to replace my cap on my charge valve. Do not over tighten the cap. Simply turn it until it stops. Repeat the same procedure for the side accumulator on this hammer. Keep in mind that the side accumulator requires a different pressure. If you have a GH70 or 80 series hammer, the, the procedure is the same, but keep in mind that those also require a different pressure. I said earlier that I would explain what to do if I had a nitrogen leak. I backed off my T-handle and my pressure held steady, but what happens if I back off my T-handle and my pressure starts to drop? That means I have a nitrogen leak somewhere in my system. That could be at the charge valve on the hammer or the adapter. It could even be the bleeder valve on the regulator itself. Once you've located the leak and corrected it, 
you must start the entire process again, beginning with discharging the hammer. If you cannot locate an external leak, you need to go back to the hydraulic reservoir on your machine and listen. If you hear bubbling in the tank, you have an internal leak in the hammer, and nitrogen is leaking all the way through the seals and back to the hydraulic tank. If you have this happen, you should call Geoprobe Service, and we can help you troubleshoot the process. Now that we've charged both the top and side accumulators on this hammer, we're ready to go back to work. We recommend that you always carry your nitrogen charge kit with you wherever you take your machine, so you can do this simple procedure in the field.